So what is up guys, Suda the Savage back, and today we are here with my Saints and football team recap. Saints come off with a 33-22 victory over the Washington football team. Uh, so currently I actually am at home for reading week. Uh, this is only going to be for a couple of videos, so uh, yeah, you're, this is just a temporary location filming in my room. Uh, anyways, i uh, got to get into individual player stats, a general recap of the game, and overall grade for both teams. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Alright, so starting out with a general recap of the game. So to start it, the Saints get the very first ball, and Jameis Winston immediately gets picked off. Not a good start, uh, but we do force uh, the football team to only take four plays on their drive as it ends with a uh, Dustin Hopkins 45-yard field goal. So could be worse. So let's just move on. Hopefully we can redeem ourselves. And Jameis Winston does with a 72-yard bomb to Deontay Harris as we go up 7-3. to three. Uh, The football team, they go on a very long drive down the field and ended off with a 23-yard field goal by Dustin Hopkins. Uh, then immediately uh, Jameis Winston gets strip-sacked and uh, football team gets the ball. So it's just, you know, it's, it's you know Jameis Winston's your quarterback when he... Throws a pick, throws a 72-yard bomb, and fumbles and loses the ball, and it's only and it's only the first quarter. That's such a Jameis Winston thing. Uh, the football team, they go on a long drive down the field and end it off with a five-yard touchdown to Antonio Gibson, uh, and then uh, they go up 13-7. to uh, Then the Saints, we get the ball, and we go on a long drive down the field, a quick drive down the field, actually, ended off with a 23-yard rushing touchdown by Alvin Kamara, but Cody Parkey missed the extra point. Now, I'm think now you're thinking... Cody Parkey, yeah, we had to cut Eldrick Rosas because he was absolutely, he has not been good this season. Uh, Will Lutz is still injured, so we bring in Double Doink Man himself, and he missed this kick, so that was very uh, frustrating. Uh, then the Saints, uh, no, sorry, football team, their very next drive, uh, Taylor Heineke gets intercepted by Paulson Adebo as they're in the red zone. Uh, then the Saints, we go three and out. Uh, football team, they turn over the ball on downs. Uh, we punt again. Uh, the football team goes three and out, and uh, this time Sean Payton, he's willing to take a risk. So he has Jameis Winston throw a Hail Mary into the end zone about 50 yards, and um, I'm thinking, yeah, I, I don't think we complete this, and it goes into the hands of Marquez Callaway for the touchdown. I was freaking out that this actually worked out. If this was to end the game, it would have been even sweeter, but you know what? Hail Mary is a Hail Mary if it ends the first or second half. I'll take it anyways, go up 20-13, to 13, going into the second half. All right, so to start the second half, a uh, football team gets the ball, and what I can describe this third quarter as is just frustrating for both sides of the ball. Football team, they go three and out, and uh, the Saints, they immediately follow that with a three and out. Football team, five plays, punt. Uh, Saints, another three and out. Uh, the football team, they this time they go on a long drive. They don't have to punt, but they do have to settle for a field goal. Now they're down 20-16, to 16, and the Saints... Do we get a touchdown? Do we get a field goal? Or do we punt? If you said, do we punt? You would be correct as we punted again. Uh, then the football team, uh, they're in their own two. This is like Blake Gilligan did an excellent job this game. Just pinned the football team in the worst positions possible. As uh, Taylor Heineke on his own two-yard line gets intercepted by P.J. Williams. Uh, so we're on the 26th. So I'm thinking, okay, if we don't get a touchdown here, like, come on. Uh, we do get a touchdown. It was a 12-yard passing touchdown from Jameis Winston to Marquez Callaway. Uh, then the football team, they go on a quick drive down the field, and uh, they end up with a one-yard rushing touchdown by Antonio Gibson. Uh, then the Saints, we go on a quick drive down the field, and then um, we get to a second and eight on the football team's 19. Jameis Winston, he's just kind of sitting in the pocket looking around, sees Alvin Kamara out to his right, and just throws it out to him, hopes for the best, and he runs that in for the touchdown. Uh, then Cody Parkey, he doinked it. He doinked the extra points on so my dad and I, he, he, I was watching that with my dad and he just started laughing when he realized it was Cody Parkey. I, I also laughed a little bit too. Uh, then the Saints, uh, we forced the football team, uh, turnover on downs. Uh, then we just shut the game down. Just ran out the clock, won the game 33 to 22 on individual player stats. All right. So on to individual player stats, starting off with Jameis Winston. I talked about this earlier. He had just a classic Jameis start. He threw for two uh, with the um, interception, 72-yard bomb, and the fumble in the first quarter. That's classic Jameis Winston. Other than that, you know, he threw for 279 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. Did have 50% completion percentage, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. But you know, we don't even we're not even fully healthy on the offense. So it, once that offense is fully healthy, expect Jameis to produce like a god. Like this wasn't his best game, but it wasn't his worst game. You know, I say that would definitely be his. Um, Maybe his second or third best game. 
Uh, but anyways, uh, on to the rushing. Uh, lead rusher was Alvin Kamara, 71 yards and a touchdown. Follow that with Jameis Winston with 26 rushing yards. So uh, good day for the rushing game, considering that um, we only just used Kamara and uh, Winston. Uh, lead receiver was Marquez Callaway, four receptions, 85 yards, two touchdowns, one of them being the Hail Mary to end the first half. Then follow that up, Deontay Harris, he only had one reception, but it was for 72 yards and a touchdown. Follow that with Alvin Kamara, five receptions, 51 yards and a touchdown. And then Adam Trotman, two receptions, 43 yards. Kenny Stills, two receptions, 17 yards. And then Taysom Hill, one reception, 11 yards. He did leave the game. He did get card off the field, possible concussion. So prayers up to Taysom Hill because that's a very scary injury. Uh, but I got to give a lot of credit to the defense. You know, the Saints, we went on ruts for most of this game. There were a whole lot of ruts. Uh, I would expect the defense to break in these scenarios. But most of the time, they held on strong. They held on to the football team. They allowed, they minimized the bleeding. So, especially Marshawn Lattimore. He may have only had one tackle this game, but he just completely locked down the football team. He only allowed two completions, uh, had six passes defended, and just was on an island of his own. No one wanted to... Heineke did not want to throw to Lattimore. If he did, it was going to be a mistake. So, excellent job by Marshawn Lattimore. Didn't have a pick, but, you know, picks don't always... Picks are don't explain the corner. You know, they're, they're a stat, but... They don't fully define what a corner is. Uh, also, Pete Werner had an excellent game. Uh, you know, coming in as the rookie linebacker, he did a very good job today, so I'm very impressed with him. And, of course, Blake Gilligan. He was, you know, on all of these ruts that we were going on, whenever he had to punt that ball, he was putting the football team in awful field position. You know, it was just so hard for them to be productive when they were in the field position that were, they were in. So, excellent job out to Blake Gilligan. Hopefully, he's going to be special teams player of the week. I don't know who, who it is, so hopefully I can find out soon. Anyways, on to the football team. Taylor Heineke, uh, not his best game. Uh, under 50% completion percentage, 248 yards and two picks. So, yeah. This is a game that, you know, he just needs to forget about, learn from his mistakes, and just move on. Uh, then followed up Antonio Gibson, lead rusher, uh, 60 yards and two touchdowns. Followed it up with Taylor Heineke with 40 yards. Uh, lead receiver was actually not Terry McLaurin. It was Adam Humphreys, three receptions, 73 yards, followed by DeAndre Carter, four receptions, 62 yards, and then Scary Terry, four receptions, 46 yards. Not as lethal as he was in the first couple of weeks, but Marshawn Lattimore just completely silenced him. And same with the rest of the Saints secondary. Uh, followed up Ricky Seals-Jones, five receptions, 41 yards. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for the football team. The offense just could not get anything going. Yeah, you, you did score 22 points. A couple of times you were able to capitalize off uh, Saints ruts and good field position, but when Blake Gilligan was giving you terrible field position, you were awful. And the defense, yeah, you did force a lot of Saints ruts, but you couldn't keep them down for long enough. And that also kind of goes back to the offense. Yes, there were ruts that the Saints had. You had them too. And whenever the Saints went on a rut, you guys couldn't, were not fully able to capitalize on those opportunities. So, yeah, that is a major knock against that offense, and yet yeah, the defense just... Not really that good. Yeah, like I said before, forced ruts, but ultimately just bended too much. And the Hail Mary at the end. Yeah, that Hail Mary is going to kind of haunt you guys. Uh, it's just kind of a stain on your game. Anyways, going to give uh, the Saints a grade. Going to give the offense a 6 out of 10. The ruts and the Jameis Winston first quarter hold me back. Uh, actually, no, 6.5 because I'm going to give half a point for the uh, Hail Mary to Marquez Callaway. And the defense, I am going to give a 8.5 out of 10. You know, 8.5 out of 10, yes, there were, yes, we did allow the football team to score 22 points, but in those times when the Saints offense were in a bit of a rut, just completely stopped the bleeding. So good job to the Saints defense. Football team, I'm going to give a 5 out of 10 to your offense and your defense. Pretty self-explanatory because, you know, uh, the football team, the offense went on some ruts too, uh, got picked off a couple of times, and just, yeah, it's pretty much it. And the defense... You know, just couldn't hold off the Saints defense for long enough. On to the outro. And that is going to wrap up my video for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you want to see all of my other uh, weekly predictions and uh, recaps uh, from this season, uh, links to all that will be in the description below. If you want to see my week five recap, uh, week five predictions, uh, link uh, it'll be right over here. Comment down below what your thoughts were on this Saints game. Uh, make sure to drop a like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on all my social medias on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat at Brendan Suter. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Hoodat Nation 3 and 2 is.